My name is Carly Malone and I'm a screen reader tester for the Digital Accessibility Centre. I am now going to test the mobile site using an iPad 2 with voiceover. Branch Finder Vertical Line Post Office Limited. Link. Image. Service required. All branches. Service required. All so I'm now branches. going to Pop enter text field. I'm now going to double Not tap on this field post so I can enter town. name the town. Post post search. Button. Copyright Post Office Limited 2000. Capital Y. Capital, to... capital, capital, capital B. Capital M. Cap, capital M. November, capital B. Capital M. Capital M. H. Y. T. R. And I'm now going to scroll up to look for a search post, post, button. Slash town. Text field is editing. Meath. Post code post code slash post code slash town. Text field is editing. Post code slash search button. Search. And I could double tap on search. search. Button. Search. Post search button. West Glamorgan one one hundred and twenty. And here we have a list of all the post office results. West Glamorgan six. West Glamorgan S A ten. Which we close to our list, which is what I've been searching for. Okay, I'm going to start by showing you how we look at our links. And to do this, we tend we, we go in with insert an F7. And this is a dialogue box which lifts all the links out of the main page content. So we can... We can browse a bit quicker and easier than we'd normally be able to if we read the web page word for word. S, save it to S, summary box, travel summary box. As you can see, here is a link which is entitled summary box. That is an example of a link where we would look at, where, we, where somebody like myself would read that and think, okay, what is a summary box referring to? So we normally like to suggest add in a more descriptive text attribute to a link like that so that we can work out where it's going and what we can expect to view on the loading page. I am now going to show you another type of link that we test for, which is a link that opens up in a new browser window. Post office register dash for you one hundred percent. Page has one edit and seven credit. Jaws dialogue. E post office e privacy. E post office. E post office registry. Our servers worldwide. Royal Mail. On your home page, there are a list of links which point to either partner organizations' websites or to publications. These are links which would open up into a new browser window without someone like myself being aware of it unless I'd um, activated the link. So for navigational purposes, we always like to suggest adding the words external link to the end of the link tag so that we know that we're, we're staying on the same site and we know where, where we're browsing. The next thing I'm going to show you is how we like to see if a form Select field escape, written. Escape, credit card six, escape. Jaws dialogue, with F, mixed F, foreign currency, enter, foreign currency, visited link, 1%, foreign currency, page has by pet bullet. Here we have a currency calculator for purchasing travel money. Select a form field. I'm going to do insert an F5 to show how we we um we browse different form fields like searches and online applications. A bit similar to the links list. Search button. Unlabeled one combo box codes. Unlabeled two combo box euro. Sterling left parent pounds right parent. As you can see the combo boxes that we would be asked to make a selection from are unlabeled. This can make it difficult for someone like me to, to know what information is to be selected. So we always like to suggest 
adding some text to the field tags of each combo box just so that we're, we're aware of what we need to do to make the right choices.